The purpose of mastering your own voice is really speaking in your own power. And many times people will tell me, you know, I want to speak like you. But at the end of the day, they can't. They need to speak with their own voice, say the things that best represent them. And that's what I help them achieve. I think people need to realize that every opportunity is that speaking opportunity. So what are they doing to make it happen? Whether just if you're a business owner and you are at the bank and you want to create a conversation, how do you do that without sound, you know, with humility? Seize those opportunities, you know, and, it, and it's just about making you sound better, making you feel good about what you have to say. Every time you present or you speak, you go back and you think, you know, what could I have done differently? And you, and you learn from that. So even doing a typical program that I do with teens, I ask them for their feedback. What did they like about what I did? What could I do differently? What did they like about me? I want to know what I did well to represent the culture that I'm bringing to that school. And the same goes with a client. I just want them to feel good about what they have to say. If uh, somebody in the corporate world or a small business owner can do a presentation or if one student has been touched by something I've done uh, and they've said, I feel better about speaking in front of my peers and that's what they needed, then I feel like my job is done. At the end of the day, there is a, this is a constant evolution. So I have knowledge that I share with my clients and I think what I take back from them is even better. And if I can improve on myself being a better speaker and in turn giving that back and just constantly getting that circle going, uh, there'll be winners on both sides.